Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. And specifically, I guess I'd either call this Roulette 201 or Roulette 105. I know it sounds strange, but it's uh, one of those two names. And today I want to dig a little bit deeper into Roulette Theory. And today we are going to talk about limits. Now, not calculus limits, because I never quite understood calculus myself, but how the limits change in roulette. And I had something that happened to me tonight, so I want to talk about limits, talk about how you can play those limits to your advantage. So let's dive right into it. No bullshit. If you haven't seen uh, 101, 102, 103, or 104, this is 105. It's going to be talking about the things that have already happened in there. If you know roulette already, Let's talk about limits. Now, something very important about limits. Limits is the main reason I like to play digital roulette. Because on digital roulette, the limits are generally significantly lower. So we've got a digital roulette table here. We will get back to it in a minute. But let's talk about limits. I just was in the casino tonight. I went to a couple different casinos tonight. And I played this game right here. This is your standard little casino roulette game that has a real ball so there's a real ball that twirls around in there i'm not going to show you live play on that because i'm not allowed to but i do want to talk about limits so you see where it says minimum total bet is five dollars right here and maximum total bet is ten thousand dollars right here that is the total bet at a time but that means you can't walk up to that machine and just play a quarter or just play 50 cents or anything like that. And I think that's important to understand. Now, I have another casino near me that you can literally go play quarters on roulette. And here is the biggest secret in roulette. The lower you can start, the longer you can go. What do I mean by that? Well, the way casinos work is the lower you can have your overall bet, the longer we can chase it, the longer we can see until we hit something, the longer our bank roll lasts. Now, there are limits on the table, meaning you have a minimum and a maximum on the table. Usually, your maximum on the table, you're not going to hit the maximum on the table, but you might hit the maximum on an individual bet. So I'm going to show you this table, and I'm going to show you one more table. This is a standard Caesars table. I was at a Caesars property. Uh, you can see I had $447 in credit in there. I only put $100 in. I played for a little bit, and I'm going to show you some of the strategies I played. Here's an example. So the minimum total bet that um, that you have to have on this table is a $5 minimum total bet. Uh, and one way to get it is, hey, you can bet two of the uh, two of the sections right there, two of the three sections for $250 each. Or you can bet... Uh, here we go. Or you can bet... You see, I've got on the even odds, I'm betting all the even odds for $2 a piece. And we're going to do those in a few minutes just so you see how those actually work. But here's the important thing. And before you play any roulette game, you must understand what we're looking at here. I showed this in, I think, 101 or 102. But this is the maximum that you can actually bet on each field. So this specific machine, this is the one, just so you can kind of see, this is the specific machine with a $5 minimum bet, but your maximum bet varies based on the field. So if you're betting something even odds, your maximum bet you can make is $1,500. Meaning if you're starting at, you know, 50 cents or a dollar or $2, if your bankroll's big enough, you can chase for a while. Now, Martingale Fibonacci determine how long you can chase for. Uh, but your minimum is 50 cents on those bets. As long as the table minimum is met. That's where we'll get to in a minute. Uh, your maximum is $1,500, and your maximum payout is $3,000. If you want to go um, straight up on a number, so any individual number, you can go up to $100 on this game on an individual number. You can go up to uh, $300 on a, uh, a three-pack of numbers. You go up to $200 on a two-pack of numbers. You can go up to $600 on a six-pack of numbers. $400 on a four-pack of numbers or that strange five-pack of numbers. You can go up to $500 on. Here's the important... Or uh, well, one, more, one more thing. Uh, you've got your limit is a little bit lower on the um, on your um, two-to-one bets. So the things that pay you back two for every one you bet. Here's the thing. That's a relatively fair limit. Again, I've seen some of these who are talking about minimum total bet. I have one at a local casino by me. It's called the Dania Beach Casino. It's by the Fort Lauderdale International Airport. That is a 
quarter minimum bet limit. And when you've got that, that's how you can just go ahead and chase a zero double split forever and ever and ever and ever. But I want to get into some live play in a minute, but I want to show you, I came across this tonight. This was in the Seminole Casino in Coconut Creek, Florida. Ah, so they have a minimum bet that during the week is $5. Well, hold up. So they have a minimum bet that during the week is $5. Sunday midnight, the minimum bet chance is $5. Fridays at 2 p.m., minimum bet chases changes to $10. Today was a Saturday night, so the minimum bet was $10. I walked the fuck out of that casino. So here's the thing. I have a roulette game right here that is similar to the roulette games in the casino. This is a simulator, but there is one difference. The difference is... Uh, where, where are we? Uh, my minimum, maximum bet. Okay, so you see in the top left-hand corner, my minimum bet is 10 cents. Here we go. Perfect. Let, let's talk about this. Um... My minimum bet is $0.10. Cents. My maximum bet is $20,000. I've loaded about $1,000 in the bottom left-hand corner, $9.97.79. Uh, but here's what's important. You'll see our limits here. We can go up to $1,000 straight up, meaning on one number. Up to $2,000 split between two numbers. Uh, up to $3,000 split between three numbers. Up to $4,000 split between four numbers. Up to $5,000 split between five uh, line or column, uh, we got $6,000, $12,000. If we want to go even odd, we can put up to $20,000 on the line. I know that sounds crazy, but let's go ahead. Let's talk about what you're likely going to find in Vegas because this was at my local Caesars. It's a $5 minimum bet here. And there's a couple ways to achieve that. But the way I like to, let's just get to a $5 minimum bet. I'm just going to bet... All the even odds things. Well, that's only $3. So I could put $2 on each. Or I could take one and choose and put $1 on. But I'm just going to hit spin. Very simple, very easy. We're starting at $9.97. And I'm going to show you a strategy to use. Okay, so we hit on two. So we made $8. Our bet was $6. So we made money there. That's the important thing. If you bet $6, you make $8. Guess what? You make money, rinse and repeat. You see we're at $9.97, now we're at $9.99. I'm going to hit rebet. And I'm going to hit spin. Again, I'm meeting the table minimum. Maybe we'll go to the $10 one. Not, not that I'd ever play a $10 table, because uh, I just walked away. I saw that at the casino, I walked away. Perfect. So we only hit on one. So we made a $6 bet, and we won $4 on that $6 bet. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to double it. So now we're betting even more. Now this, if you are getting points for roulette, if, if you're playing digital roulette, it's counting as a slot machine. You might not get as much as slot points in some places, but if you're getting points, I won $16. I hit on two of them. Here's the goal. If you hit on two of your even odds bets, then you're green and you reset to the table minimum. It's a very interesting strategy. I'm not going to lie. I came up with this strategy tonight. Now, you can get hosed by zero, but zero is the same thing as a black odd 19 through 36. So yes, there are house odds here, but as long as you understand, again, you're looking for two of them to hit. So you see we've got three bets. As long as two of them hit, you can reset back to the beginning. Let's see what we got. 29. Nothing hit. So what do we have to do? We have to have the money in here to go ahead and martingale that. Yeah. Uh, does that, that, yeah, that... I think we might have gone up a little high, but let's see. Because the 10 probably hit before, but let's let's let it go. Hopefully, hopefully we hit. 20. Oh, I won 16, but my bet, my bet was a little bit more than that. So you can see I'm still down a little bit. Let's rebet. Let's not double it because we we hit we 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 went up a little bit early. But what we're doing is, yes, this is now $30. You don't have to... I'm going to try and not go more than $100 into the bankroll. Uh, there we go. 36 is even. Okay, so we won $40 there. So, we had a we had a strange run there. But here's the important thing. We can get back. Again, we're going to go back to the table. 
and this is one that over time I milked, I milked four hundred dollars out of this strategy tonight, while meeting those table minimums. Zero zero. I'm happy that happened because that's a loss on everything. Cool. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna repeat, and then we're gonna double. We're doing a martingale here because the odds are it's gonna hit sooner rather than later. I'm gonna show you another way to go about doing this in just a moment. Okay. Again, we hit one. You see that one that hit? So we're gonna hit rebat. We're gonna go two times. We're gonna hit spin again. We are running a lot of money through the machine. Gonna get us back green. Hopefully. There we go. Two of them hit there. I won 16 bucks. Did two of them hit? 19, no. Yeah, 19 red. Okay, two of them hit there. We're down a bit. So we can do different things to kind of get up a bit if we're down a bit, but let's go ahead again. When your minimums are a little bit bigger, you got to play a little bit more, but this is a relatively, relatively safe way to hit your table minimums here. Let's see. All right, 23. Again, just the red hit. So I'll go ahead. I just want to show you kind of how these table minimums come into play. Again, we're, we're down. Not gonna lie about that. Seven, okay. But we got that. That's an up because we hit two of them. If that makes sense. So again, when we whenever we hit two, we can start the sequence again. Let's say we have a higher minimum, like for example, a ten dollar minimum. Well, we can start at like. Let's start at uh, ten fifty. This gets us to that ten dollar minimum. I didn't want to play. Now. It's going to suck us down quicker, but it's also going to bring us up quicker, too, if we hit the right thing. That was a suck down because we lost everywhere. So we can double and spin. Let's double and spin. And I'm going to show you kind of how you can get out of this, hopefully. Again, I want to be very, oh, there we go. That's a nice one. That's a $42 win right there. Now, here's the important thing. You cannot beat roulette. I'm going to be very clear. You cannot beat roulette. You can only play the odds in your favor. Now, we've played some crazier things. Let me show you. We got a $5 minimum. There's another way to do it with just two bets. So if to hit that $5 minimum, I can just go right here. I can put $2.50 on each of those, uh, each of the thirds. And I can spin. And let's see where we get to. All right. 17. That's good. So I won 750. I bet $5. I won $750. I'm making $2.50 a spin here. Again, I'll just I'll rebet. And let's say we wanted to do a uh let's do a, a, a triple martingale. Let's 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 advance things a little bit. Okay, 25 is outside of our comfort zone. So we didn't hit. So watch this. Let's say we want to get ahead. We're at that 989. Watch this. We'll, we'll triple. It's risky. Let's not lie. It's risky and you have the bankroll, but we still haven't really dipped in. Well, yeah, it's risky. Look, we hit a zero. It's okay. I'm going to hit spin. Again, I got, now I have $40 riding on this. <laughs> 40 pays me back 80. 31? No. Bad section. So now, unfortunately, I'm in another 100. So this is where we're talking advanced theories and understanding the limits and understanding how long you can go down there. Remember, those things, you can go up to $1,000 uh, on most tables. There we go. We finally hit there. We're back to uh, 969. Again, we can, we can mark this. We can do this. Again, if we want to go ahead and see if we get a little luckier here, let, let's, let's, go to that, let's go to that $10 table minimum. We'll hit spin. We're playing with bigger numbers now. Now, again, if you're playing somewhere and you're playing on digital roulette, all of this theory is meant for, there we go. That's a nice hit. 115 bucks. All this is meant for digital roulette. So, I mean, it's not meant for having a physical roulette because a physical roulette table is going to start at $10 on your straight up bets. And when you're starting at $10 on your straight up, there we go. I'll take that 15 bucks. 
when we're starting at $10 on our straight up bets, it makes it a lot harder when starting at $10 on your straight up bets to actually make money. Again, this is not as, um, I guess I would say safe. Again, I'm running this in a simulator right here. I'll, I'll show you. I'm just, I'm literally hitting rebet, hitting spin. I want to work it back up above that thousand. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The lower we can start, the better off we are. Oh, that's been good. Okay. So again, we're 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 at nine eighty nine. We only really need one more ten dollar win, and we're we're back to even. But this is the idea: is you want to come on, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Uh, the balance is the bottom left hand corner. Oh, come on, yeah, there we go, nine ninety four. And look, you're not going to be able to do this all the time. But look, if we wanted to walk it home at a dollar, just to get back to that thousand. We can walk it home with a dollar on a on a on a standard martingale on red black, black. Okay, so again, this goes back to roulette uh, roulette one oh one. Well, from my let me go two times. We went one. We go two. Now the difference between a martingale and a Fibonacci comes down to the um, whether you go two to okay. So if we want to go martingale, which we want to make some money here, we will go to. Uh, four instead of three. If we wanted to make money over time, we would go with Fibonacci. So again, we're going to four. Come on. But I want to show you these swings. Yes, I I'm not kind of I'm not playing this one as much to make money right now. I'm showing you how table limits come into play. So again, if I wanted to potentially win some money here and win on all three at once. And again, that would meet a $3 table minimum. Realistically. There we go. So that only won on one. So that was a loss because I put $3 and I won two. Does that make sense? So I'm going to go up a little bit because that was tech technically a loss. So I'm putting $6 here. I should make eight or nothing. We'll see. Boom. I won on one. Again, that's still a loss. I put in six dollars, made four. So we have to keep on we have to keep on martingaling that until we get a win there. Come on. We win money when two of them hit. We'd love all three of them to hit, being fully realistic. Come on. That's even. There we go. We make money when two of them hit. Again, this is the this one down here, this 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 little new strategy I'm talking about with the, the two and you, you see them lighting up. I came up with this about Six hours ago, I went to the casino between a uh, Texas Hold'em game. I had two Texas Hold'em games. I went and I, 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 I lost uh, the Texas Hold'em tournament. I won some of the game there, won some money in the game. But again, if I want to, this is exactly how I was playing in the casino. Two dollars, two dollars, two dollars. I hit spin. I am profitable if two of those hit. And it helps me meet that five dollar table minimum. So as long as two of them hit, all three just hit. Made twelve dollars and look what? We're back over a thousand. Yes, realistically, I had a bad run. I had to dip into the second hundred there. But you could see I got back to even. So again, if I one, two, you want to start as low as humanly possible. Now, a lot of casinos where they'll let you start down here is probably at a dollar. Look, that's that's two hit. As long as two hit of those three, you're making money. You can see we're down in the eight hundred dollar range, and we're just working the math here. And by working the math here again, uh, my local casino, Dania Beach Casino, that have a technically closer casino than me, I can play right across there. I can just play one of them. Uh, this does not limit me. I think that's the important thing to understand. Uh, just one, one. So I put out a dollar fifty, made a dollar. I lost there, so I do have to rebet. Oh, hold on, let me show you. I'm rebetting and I'm doubling. Then I'm going to go ahead and spin again. As long as two of the three hit, I make money. Boom. Wait. No. Only one hit. So we're going to go ahead. I'll show you again. I'm going to rebet. I'm going to go two times. I must spin. Again, we started very low at 50 cents. The lower you can start this, the longer you can chase it. I think that's that's uh, that's a win of two. So you see, we're up at a thousand four. Again, if I wanted to, let's just I'll leave, I can start it even lower. If I'm playing in an online casino or a simulator, I can start at ten cents. Again, the goal right here was not to make money tonight. It was to discuss the minimums and maximums of a table and how you can most. Hey, look, that's a win on all three. 
Now, yes, I only had 10 cents, so I won 60 cents there. Uh, but you can, you, you just have to meet the table minimum. Let's do one more. Let's say, again, I wanted to meet that, again, the table I don't want to play. If you walk in and you ever see something like this that tells you certain days of the week it's a $10 minimum and other days of the week it's a $5 minimum, you've got to play that table very, 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 very differently depending on, so like, if it's a $5 minimum, what am I going to do? I'll go one, two, three, four, five. Technically, I'm covering my bases there. I got a $5 minimum. I'll hit spin. I need two of the bottom ones to hit and one of the top ones to hit to be profitable. So I'm going to double it. Again, I'll re-bet. Is this crazy? Of course it is. Am I crazy? Of course I am. Do I get pretty felted here if I, if I hit a zero? Yeah, I do. Okay, what do we need? One top, one bottom. Again, we're gonna we're gonna just double and spin. Once you understand the basic roulette theory, things get a little bit interesting. Here again, I need one top or come on. Oh, that was rough. I lost everywhere. But again, I'm gonna rebet, and I'm waiting until we're just playing on a sim right now. But I've got a lot of money bet. I got forty dollars bet here. Unless I get zero double zero or. Something black odd and 9 through 36, I'm going to get felted. Oh, God. Oh. Again, simulator. Not real. You would probably never play like this. But when it hits, if it hits, 23. Oof. 9.52. Rebet. Two times. I just need two on the bottom to hit. And then I make it back. Yes, I've dipped in 300 bucks into the th third of $100. 27. Oof. Last one is 64. But I'm just showing you how this is this is theory. You can chase it forever. Whoa. That's big numbers. I need two of them on the bottom to hit. I would never actually do this. And I'm not going to let you know if it actually loses or wins. We'll see. If it wins, I'll, I'll let you know. Simulator. Two on the bottom hit. Oh. Hey, if you watch what happened there, that's pretty rough. Let's let's just work it back up to the thousand, and we'll end this lesson today. Again, remember we can start at say uh, just to meet our. We we'll start at five dollars. All we want is two on the bottom to hit. We went a little bit crazy. We dipped into a couple hundred bucks there. Um, seven. That's good. Two on the bottom hit. Guess what? We made money. Again, we can we can. Let's let's walk it home. Let's put let's let's go ahead and we'll get our um, our ones on the bottom here. Again, this is just to meet that five dollar minimum. We'd like all three to hit, but if two on that bottom roll hit, you are ahead. Or, or none. Let's try that again. Again, I, I want to. I wanna, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave until we're back over. You saw I was safely over that thousand dollars before, but it's an ebb and flow. But as long as you understand the math here, the math and the minimums are two of them hit because they're in the first one. Okay. So we're good. Again, we'll start at $2. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's go a little faster. So we'll start at five. So we're going $15. We're hoping that they all hit right now and we're done with the game. That'd be wonderful. Whoa, Dermo, please. Did it hit? One hit. So again, double. I have an option to double and spin. Let's rebet. Again, I'll show you. We'll double. Whew. That's some tight roulette theory. Let's go ahead. We need two of them to hit. Eight. Yes, two of them hit right there. So if two of them hit, we're good. We're up. All, this is a dumb roulette theory, but something I literally came up with today. Essentially, I just needed to meet that $5 minimum on this table right here. Wait, not that one. Screw that table. This table right here, I had to hit the $5 minimum total bet. And you have to stay within the limits of your maximum total bet. So I'm just going to walk it, hopefully. Hopefully, going to walk it back to 1000 as you're doing this, you're getting casino points. We've run thousands of dollars through the machine. I'm not going to, okay, zero. That's not good. Again, you could, 
buy some insurance against the zero. You could put 50 cents each spin on the zero, but it just complicates your doubling a little bit. You know, if I wanted to, I could put 10 cents on the zero. I'll show you. Let's get a hit first. Okay, hit. So I made money on the two. But let's say I wanted some insurance, right? So here's what I do. Let's talk insurance real quick. I would put a 10 cent bet split on zero double zero. It's insurance if something were to happen. We'll start with three. We're buying zero insurance. Again, I do want to, sorry this is taking a while, but I've been teaching you, talking about limits, and I want to kind of get it up. Okay. That's only a single win. But when I double it now, watch what's going to happen. I'm going to rebat. I'm going to rebat and double. And I'll hit spin right there on the simulator. Come on, hit right there, hit right there, hit right there. There we go. We hit on two. So we're good. As long as you... Under, you so the simplest thing, I want you just to remember again, if I want to go ahead, I'll put, again, I just want to make money as quick as possible. I'm going to just get... That gets me, honestly. Let's say I were to do something like that. And, you know, let's, let's even go a little crazier. If I wanted to put... Let's say I had a $10 table minimum. I could go ahead and I could put on that split right there. That'll pay me 11 to one if that hits. And I'll go up every time. That's protecting me from zero, double zero. And if a two hits, which I'm already making money on the, um, on even and one to 18. Okay, 28. Essentially what I'll do, I'll hit rebet here. All I need to win is I need, I, I'd love a zero, double zero or two. Or I'd love all three of those uh, left bets to win. And look, we didn't get either of those two things. So I'll double and spin. We're playing on a simulator. Come on, come on, simulator. Give me what I want. Three. Well, that's good. $48. Where did I lose money there? I lost some money there. Even though I made money, I lost money there. Kind of weird. But again, I can go ahead. Let's just let's just go ahead. Go for broke here. We're just playing the simulator. This isn't real money. But you've seen we've run a lot of money through roulette. We've had a lot of chances. Yes, you can. Okay, that's good. That's even and low. That's a twenty dollar win. Again, uh, we we do when you hedge yourself. Oh, hold on. <laughs> when you hedge yourself a slight amount against loss with a zero double zero. You can hurt yourself more over time. So that's why I call Okay, there we go. Eight's good because I'm going to win two. So I won 20 bucks. Going to rebet. Picking up five bucks every time here. Hopefully. Because I'm betting on slightly less than half the board. Oh, there we go. That's a total win. Win $30, and that's where we end. Look at that. We learned about table limits today. We learned that, again, you you ever see a sticker like this on a table? You walk the fuck out of that casino. I saw it. I left the casino. I'm a member of that casino. I've never... I'll, I'll tell you, that's a hard rock casino. Uh, Seminole Hard Rock, specifically. I saw that on the roulette machine, and I walked the hell out of the casino. We worked it up. We worked it down. We worked it sideways, and look... People have criticized me. Oh, you put all you put a thousand dollars in, so it's it's not a twenty percent return. It's a two percent return or a point two percent return. I get it. This was not about making money. This was about understanding the limits on the tables, because you have to fully understand that in order to make money. You have to understand where you can't throw money at the problem anymore, or where it's not even worth throwing money at the problem anymore. So this is Richard. From No Pants Profits, and I hope you've enjoyed Roulette 105. Limits and how to work within them. Uh, I am actually about to go on a roulette cruise next week. And I'm going to bring you more roulette content. Something happens, something interesting happens. I got ways to play it. We're going to talk about triple zero roulette. Also known as fuck you roulette. But uh, well, th th this, this is some pretty fuck you roulette too right here. This is Richard from No Pants Profits with Roulette 105. Reminding you that when you wear no pants, like me, and you play roulette, like me, there's only one thing you got left to lose, and that is your shirt. Again, remember, you cannot win roulette.
you saw. Every time we play, we have. I do these one take. If I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose. You saw me lose a couple times, but you saw me work it back up in real time. The record from No Pants Profits. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. Or uh, um, you can email nopantsprofits at gmail.com or richard at nopantsprofits.com. Goes to the same place. Have a great one. Bye.